Okay, for our special focus here as we talk about the War of 1812, uh, we are going to talk about the Star-Spangled Banner. Uh, because it is from a conflict in the War of 1812 that we get our national anthem. Now this one's going to be a little different. We're going to spend just a second talking about the story uh, of the national anthem, but you got to go to the YouTube page because what I'm going to do is I'm going to link for you some of the best and worst uh, renditions of the national anthem. So I want you to check those out. Uh, some of them are fantastic. Right? You've got Whitney Houston uh, singing the National Anthem before uh, the Super Bowl, for instance. Some of them are infamous, uh, right? Roseanne, uh, a famous comedian from the 90s, singing the National Anthem uh, before a baseball game, if you want to call it singing, uh, and kind of everything in between. So uh, you got to check those out. But uh, if you look at the background of the picture we've got for you here, uh, this is the Star Spangled Banner. Uh, Star Spangled Banner uh, was a flag. Uh, it was actually a flag uh, that flew over Fort McHenry. Fort McHenry guarded the city of Baltimore. Uh, so uh, there, there's a river that runs there, and Fort McHenry is there to keep ships uh, from getting into uh, the city of Baltimore. Uh, it's an amazing place uh, to go visit. If you ever get a chance, uh, I encourage you to, uh, to check that out. Uh, but in the War of 1812, it's going to play a particularly important role. Uh, this flag is enormous. Today, if you wanted to see it, you go to Washington, D.C., uh, to the Smithsonian, our National Museum, uh, and the flag has been uh, preserved there. Uh, but the fellow that had it made, um, had it made, I mean, you're, you're talking the size of, I've ever been past one of those car lots that's got the enormous American flag that's hanging there. Um, you know, this, this thing is just ginormous. Um, our anthem actually comes from one of the most tragic parts uh, of our war history, right? As we were talking about the War of 1812, uh, you know that as part of that conflict, the British burned our nation's capital. That's right, they took out Washington, D.C., um, burned the White House, burned the Capitol building, uh, left the city in ruins, and were marching towards uh, the city of Baltimore. Uh, had they taken the city of Baltimore, if you know where that's at on a map, um, they are effectively uh, kind of cutting the country in half. Uh, with that. So it was essential for the American cause that we end up um, defending Baltimore. Well, in comes uh, Fort McHenry. Uh, and so Fort McHenry is there um, and guarding the city of Baltimore. Uh, and in the city of Baltimore, there's a man named Francis Scott Key. Uh, and Francis Scott Key um, was a lawyer. Uh, he goes out actually to a British ship um, before the battle starts. Uh, to try and negotiate uh, a prisoner release. Uh, but the battle starts, and so he's forced to stay on the ship uh, while the battle's going on. And so uh, he's worried about how this is going to go, um, and he's looking out at this fort to see whether the British have taken the fort. So the fort has this enormous American flag above it, the Star Spangled Banner, uh, and so uh, he keeps looking to see if that flag is still up there or if the British have taken the fort and would raise the Union Jack. Uh, above the fort. Uh, now, if you know the words of the song, right? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. So it's morning time, right? Can we still see the flag that we saw uh, in the dwindling hours of daylight the night before, right? Whose broad stripes and bright stars uh, through the perilous fight um, you know, I've, I've lost the, the words of the National Anthem. I have to go back and sing it in my head. But uh, basically, you know, that, that uh, one where they're talking about and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave th proof through the night that our flag was still there. So the only time he can see it is when these explosions are happening. So uh, he, he sees this and then gets up the next morning and sees that the fort hasn't fallen, the city of Baltimore hasn't fallen. Uh, and the American cause is not lost. And so he sits there and writes this poem. Uh, and then eventually the poem is set to music, uh, and later it will be adopted uh, as our national anthem. It is notoriously difficult, though, uh, to sing. I won't 
try that for you here. I can't sing very well. Heck, I was having trouble uh, remembering the words off the top of my head. So um, it is, it's, it's a hard song to sing. And so as you're going to say, like I said, I'm going to show you some good examples uh, and some bad examples as we do the playlist. Uh, but uh, check those out. I've also got a little uh, History Channel documentary on restoring uh, the Star Spangled Banner that tells the story uh, of uh, the Battle of Baltimore uh, very well. So enjoy those. <laughs> 